According to a report by the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine at the University of Oxford, living with children between the ages of 0 to 11 years old does not increase the chances of contracting COVID-19 within a household, but that risk actually goes up when living with teenagers between the ages of 12 to 18 years old. Now, even though scientists have yet to understand exactly why that is, it is a study that is based on about 9 million uh, adults. Now, it's important to say that since the beginning of this pandemic and even a year into the global pandemic, scientists do not understand uh, the role of teenagers and young adults and also children, uh, let it be in the spread of the virus, but also in the fact that they tend to develop an asymptomatic form of the virus. And on that specific point, uh, there's a study that was released in the scientific review JAMA that's trying to address this issue to understand why they develop uh, asymptomatic forms of COVID-19. And here we're not talking about the variants. And they looked at uh, the blood work of 31,000 New Yorkers uh, done for serological tests between April and August of 20. And they were able to show that uh, young children between the ages of 0 to 10 years old actually developed twice the level of antibodies of teenagers between the ages of 11 to 18 years old. And those same teenagers actually developed also twice the level of antibodies of young adults between the ages of 19 to 24 years old. Now, scientists do not understand exactly why that is, but they seem to be converging towards the fact that age category could be a factor.